Hey guys, so today we're gonna check Second Life, how to start with it and some tips when you start because I opened my new profile last time like an alt right for my sister and when I came to the after all the you know you have the whole uh, how to fly how to walk tutorial right I came to the help island and there's not much to know where to actually go or what to do when you start Second Life and I've seen people walking around confusing uh, like just walking around the island doing nothing and I was like yeah it's not really you don't see it really what to do or where to go right so it, it must be confusing probably for new people and there was practically no one at the start right because when you come out of this tutorial usually there are some maybe trolls there or some people are helping somebody you know I, I remember me and some other girls went there to dance once at the start right um, so you know I wanted to do a full tutorial and to give you some tips when you start Second Life so just write Second Life in Google virtual world as we open Second Life there is a full form to fill you just choose your username um, I'm just gonna choose now something new right so we come to the start area I don't know I will never use it probably but huh, it's available because nobody ma uh, did such a stupid name right I just need to copy it so I don't forget it okay let's just choose ah okay uh, let's just choose an email I'll hide this too because um, well it's practically my n email from Naria but you know for the fun of it okay let's choose a um, password right so I'll just choose what I use everywhere so I don't forget it date of birth doesn't matter I will do my own it's fine you know it's 4th January right so you know um, there we go okay uh, which city were you born in huh um, Aha, that's a security question let's just do it anyway just fill up your form however choose if you're like male female gender variant non-binary whatever uh, and I'm not a robot it's easy to fill the form that's it and you'll have your freaking username and your password it's so easy to create an account now guys uh, first suggestion would be um, see your second life experience includes you can choose to be premium right but for the start just of course go basic or if you just want to jump to premium if you already know a lot of about second life but you know every every time I started uh, second life with alts of course I go basic so premium means that you will get a st uh, monthly stipend of 300 lindens you'll have faster access to um, events that are full right or stuff that is full where a lot of people are there uh, you will have uh, I think it's uh, a lot more groups I think it's 60 groups that you can use and also the best thing is mm, you can choose a Linden home right for free of course or land on mainland it's either uh, Linden home or land on mainland so welcome download or install second life now here is the first tip I will give you don't do that because this is an um, second life viewer right so where you can run second life it has different viewers so here it's second life viewer but uh, most people use firestorm so I would just go to um, Google and write Firestorm Second Life. Like you can do it like this, right? So you don't find our Firestorm viewer or whatever, right? So Firestorm viewer, I would go with Fire because uh, Second Life can run on different viewers, right? So uh, Second Life is offering you Second Life viewer, right? But I would start with Firestorm because you'll probably be on Firestorm. There's also Black Dragon. Bra Black Dragon is perfect if you go into photography, right? So keep that in mind. There's also Singularity, but most people are running Second Life on Firestorm. So, and most tutorials are made on Firestorm, right? So I would say start with Firestorm, go into downloads and download Firestorm Viewer for Second Life. So we'll also, also start our account on Firestorm, right? So let's start with Firestorm, see how you log in and how the start of second life looks and what to do after you go through the whole tutorial right 
to install Firestorm, just get the, you know, um, the installation down. So exe file, right? Um, setup, fi setup file down. There we go. And just install it. Easy as that. Um, there. We're just installing it slowly, whenever. There we go. Nothing like nothing special, and then just run the program when it opens. See, do you want to register? Firestorm is the default handler for virtual worlds. Sure, why not? Because we have no other virtual world, so it's fine. Close. That's it. Completed, and we can open it. See, start Firestorm now. Of course. So this is how the fire. This is how the Firestorm viewer looks like. Uh, we are now on version four. 6412 if you're on a bigger version you know after that you know don't worry it's just versions uh it's morning so now most of america is asleep so it's only 30,000 you can see how many people are online right in world right now usually is around 45,000 that are online and at each given time i guess like on general right and SL time is now of course 1 37 a.m as i said you can see those and now you just put your username in that you logged in check your password i would just do like um greet second life don't don't use anything else i don't think you have any second life beta okay whatever and firestorm and just log in don't change anything else remember username remember password if you don't want to put it in every time and let's log in that's it and we'll start with second life um that's how the login screen screen always lo uh, looks. You'll get terms of service. You can read through it, but nobody does probably. So just you know, I have read and agreed to continue. You know, you can always read it, but I don't think nobody is reading any of this <laughs> at all ever. I guess so. You know, uh, and we're logging in there. Loading world easy. And there, guys, we're logged into Second Life. Uh, so if you see a different starting point just means that you started with second life uh official viewer or i don't know it's like sometimes weird because last time i went on firestorm i also started on second life so i i don't know second life place but it's practically the same you just follow these marks right you jump you learn how to jump walk uh fly and stuff like that but why i think the firestorm uh, viewer tutorial is much better because they teach you a lot more stuff than the second life one it's a little longer of course but you you'll get the hang of it right so how you move of course is just uh i move with w a s d right um because that's more but here they say just use the arrow keys but a s d is fine too you know for gamers, you know, it's ASD all the time. Don't use this stuff on the viewer, but, you know, just keep it. You can go in mouse, mouse look if you scroll, right? It's easy. Uh, with the s mouse scroll to your head, please follow the path. Okay, let's go. Uh, I already did this one, so, you know. So, if you want to jump, um, you know, you can hold the page up. Or I use E, right? E's key is also to jump, right? So, this is more uh normal for um you know or you can hold e key and we're flying once you hold it a little longer you start flying or if you pr press uh, d you go down i'm just gonna go how i use it right they teach you but you know if you're a gamer you're gonna use asd right whatever okay um w a s d i mean are you hovering if yes tap home to stop flying but they teach you their way it's fine too you know just then you can uh, learn how to sit uh how to react with all the objects in second life you just click on r right click on them and sit here so that applies to everything to beds to chairs to wherever you want to sit in second life it's always right click and sit here right simple um but they teach you everything and also if you have a second life viewer or if you have a firestone viewer so why i think this tutorial is much better than the second life one i will tell you right away because there you don't you don't learn how to sit in second life right viewer but this tutorial is much better with sitting there see you have a fireplace you can try how to sit right you have pose balls you learn about those in second life too easily also you can sit on 
pose balls, right? You, usually you can see the chair and you just click on it and you're gonna be up on it, right? Or you have pose balls like this that says sit, sit, right click and sit, see? And you're sitting. These are the basics of Second Life. If you go through this tutorial, I mean, um, I think it's pretty cool. You also have the camera view, so if you, you know, if you hold um, Alt, right, you can run and just move around yourself. The camera views, they teach you everything here, right? So this is much better than the Second Life. This is Firestorm tutorial, right? Um, see, they use, they said use camera controls to zoom into lily pads. See, you can check it them closer. You learn how to navigate your cam here, um, but more, most importantly, also how to communicate. Uh, you can chat with that bird there. There, we'll go just pass it, but communicate there. They also are having look, so you can see people talking. Oh, he's going back. See what I mean? People confused. Okay. <laughs> also, friend list, how to add people as friends. Um, so if I want that guy, where did he fly? Look at him, confused. That's what I mean. People are so confused at the start, but it's fine. So right click and we could go to um, profile and we can add him as a friend, right? Easy. Okay, anyway. We're not, you know, you can learn all this stuff here, but hey, it's a startup, so. Okay. To make settling into Second Life a little easier, we have a few etiquette tips. Please use those as a guide to making your Second Life as fun, friendly, and hassle-free as possible. Okay. What is it? Making friends is fun, but don't request friendship from someone you haven't <coughs> even spoken to. Yeah, okay. Sometimes... I like how they did the, this here, right? Because if you're gonna land in Second Life Viewer tutorial, it, it's not that... They don't go into etiquette, they don't go how to buy stuff, right? Uh, sometimes take a short while for everything to rest when you log in. Okay, see they're telling you a lot of stuff that Second Life is not, right? So Firestorm startup, it's a lot better. Um, okay, classification. You can find the classification, okay, whatever. You know, you, you can go through this tutorial easily. Uh, look, they're s telling you about inventory. I mean, we're not gonna go into this today because apparently if you go through this, right, you're gonna learn everything you need to know. Edit shapes, there. And that's why I like this, um, you know, this startup tutorial here because they do tell you about everything. Edit outfits, you see. They, they go much deeper on how to navigate Second Life here and they did a lot better tutor tutorial. So you have how to buy stuff. Uh, you also get some freebies here. Um, I don't know if you want to go for it, you know. You can already grab some hair for free, so just click on it, buy, and that's it, right? And you'll get it in your inventory. Uh, it's so easy because inventory is always here, you see? Whatever you get, you can also check the recents, right? And you'll right away see what you got. So it's this hair, right? Let me see, reeked. So we already can detach the head, uh, the whatever this is, right? And put a new hair on. So just always add, guys, a uh, uh, cool god. I look horrible. So every time just uh, never, um, wait, let me detach this. So never use wear in Second Life, always add. That's the first tip I have. That's what you should every time learn because sometimes when you wear some other thing detaches from you, right? So always just you use add because this can be added, you know, it's a tip, right? So always just add uh, because then nothing will get detached from you, right? Um, you'll see why, M maybe if you try it. So, okay, then they're telling you about marketplace, how to open boxes in Second Life. Yeah, so they tell you everything in Second Life is created by users. Okay. I mean, is what it is, right? Okay, so let's go on. I think this should be the, like we said, let's fly, right? There we go. E if you e, press E if you want to fly or F if you want to go down. 
there. I'm just telling you the other way to use this stuff. Okay, media. Um, if you want to hear something, you have also up here, right? So you do um, see you start the media here. See, now you can see the movie screen. If you see this screen, you need to turn you need to turn on media. So there we go. Media turned on, right? There we go. See, they tell you how to turn on media. Um, what else? Volume. Okay, how to adjust your volume stuff here. See? You can choose if you want to hear voices, if you want to hear media, if you want to hear music. You can turn... I usually have every... So that's a tip. I usually have just the master volume on and I have voices. Somebody's talking so I can hear them. I have sounds always off and music... The sounds I have off because there are people walking around with those <coughs> stuff, right? That's like making noises and you're just like, what the fudge is going on? Or slapping or whatever. It's kind of weird. So I have sounds always on, off. Um, and I put uh, music on when I'm in clubs and stuff like that. So that's a tip also. Okay. Now we're going to go through this teleport and this will end our tutorial, right? You can go through the tutorial again, uh, but once you pass it, you can come back, right? So let's just go in, I guess. So let's sit on it and we're in. I think here they have a lot of more people to help you, if I'm correct. Okay, then you have how to teleport. So, mm, guys, I would suggest you to just do Firestorm, right? when you install it and go through this Firestorm um, uh, tutorial because it's so much more easier, right? They also tell you about the world map because the f Second Life doesn't go through this, right? The Second Life viewer doesn't have such a detailed tutorial on where to go because people are confused at the end, right? So, um, ready for more? When you're done with the tutorial, walk into the cave. Okay, let's go to the cave. So this one is really, really better, right? So let's do this. And I think there's a lot of people also here that you can ask stuff about, right? Prove any uh, vampires to bite you. Oh, so they have no biting here. It's fine. <laughs> we got you. No biting, no nudity. Please cover up. Okay, changing rooms. Oh, they have changing rooms. Interesting. They really did this one a lot better than, um, you know, Second Life one. And they, they guide you where to go. Allow music, you can do that. That's no problem. And let's see what they put here for us. Oh, they really... Oh, they, they changed the place a little. That It was not like that last time I was here. So that's good. There's a dog here. Let's see. It came to me. Okay. What is this? set home ah, you can also set home here so you always return here if you get lost in second life right i also got a huh. let's see welcome to second life okay thank you uh, my name is weird but who cares okay so here we are uh you have some f ah they do give you free stuff now oh nice okay social building Changing rooms? Okay, let's see what they have. I left click on this kiosk to purchase $10, 10, <laughs> 10 US Linden of dollar. Okay, whatever. Okay, free stuff. Let's see what they have. I think they will have to, like, let's see. I'm kind of interested what they're offering, right? Free stuff for avatars under 90 days old. Ah, okay. Okay, for guys, it's not that bad. Let's see. Okay, oh, you got the suit, okay. Could be a little bit better, but hey, it's not bad. Let's see here. Ah, you have also, oh, they did fur. <gasps> Yay, they did ponies. You know what, we're gonna be a brony today. I don't even care. Okay, so I'm glad they didn't do just male and female, right? But they also did ponies, they did furries. Look at this. You also get a starter furry. It's not good, but hey, it's not bad for the start, right? Because for more, you usually pay, right? <laughs> they still have the gar garlic necklace to protect from vampires. Okay, that's fucking hilarious. Okay, 
Then you have warning this movement tools must not be used at the social club area. Okay. You have a pogo stick. Okay, roller skates. Oh, they give you roller skates? That's nice. Float like you're in space. Halky on hovercraft. Ride a bike. Okay. And then you have girl stuff. So you can al already dress. Okay, that's cute. This one is cute. Um, it's like a little older stuff, but it's not that bad, to be honest, for free. Hmm. Let's see what else. They give you some jewelry. Okay, and outfits. Let's see what they have for outfits. Huh. Well, we can take something and, you know, put it on ourselves, I guess. So, uh, let's see. You know what? I'm gonna just take the whole suit and that's it. And we're gonna see how to do that. Okay. I'm sad that there's... Well, there was hair at the start, but I wish there... Hello? What she wants? Independent mentor. Ah, oh, she's trying to help. Oh, look, she's already... You see what I mean? Firestorm is so much better with this, right? I also see they have a learning island well, thing right here uh, because there you have the free stuff uh, and I'm already having a conversation here. Okay, thanks for the tip. Anyway, somebody said they're bored in Second Life. I never understood how you're bored in Second Life. Guys, if you're ever bored in Second Life, just log off and, I don't know, try some other game. Because there is so much stuff to do. And now we're going to the part of tutorial that I wanted to do. Because, okay, we checked the how to start stuff, right? But we need to go in what to do in Second Life and how to meet friends. And But... I already have separate videos of that. Where are you from? Okay. Slovenia. She's always... She's almost my... Who is this person? One week old. Ah, it's new. Okay. Almost close, I guess. She's from Switzerland. She, he, I don't know what it... I didn't go into. So they have a learning island, as I said, and you have how to start from strawberry sink tutorial. I don't know what this is. So meeting and making friends. Okay. Well, meeting and making making friends is pretty much easy. If you see somebody, just click on them. Like you can IM them, right? Um, I'm not going to IM myself because I can't. But we're going to go into Second Life World first, right? Because it's so vast and so freaking huge. So uh, these are the continents of Second Life. Uh, you can walk through them. So this is the only part of Second Life where you can walk. First of all, you can ride a train there. You can ride your uh, vehicles there. You can go on road trips. Uh, really interesting thing is you can go sailing. So this Nautilus continent, right? It's connected by sea. So you have Nautilus Sea. Blake Sea is really popular, guys. So. Uh, you can go sailing on the Blake Sea. That's like <laughs> everybody goes sailing there, right? Uh, you can get yourself a sailboat bo free on Marketplace also. Just go sailing. It's like really awesome. You can explore, like you can stop on different islands, explore what they have there. You, you come. So tell me about you. I do ballet and horse riding and I'm 15. Oh God. You cannot be in Second Life at 15, girl. Okay. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, but you have also different routes, right, that run through. Uh, look, you can go on road trips on those routes. Usually they have some kind of uh, trains. So where's the trains? I think here is a whole train system, right, or this heto yeah, railroad. So if you go to this Hetocera Atoll, they have a whole railroad system running through this. Uh, so you can jump on one train, ride uh, to somewhere, go on other train. I mean what people came up with in second life is really interesting so you can just stop on different stops and just check what people created there because you have to know everything in second life right is created by people right so these are the continents of second life you can do so much on them so if you ever want to go somewhere you just go to world right um and i will go to world map you also have the mini map of this place but also use world map so you can teleport so this is Firestorm Social Island. If you zoom out, right, all the green dots are people, right? So if you see some a lot of people on one place, right, uh, you can always jump there, right? Um, so you just click somewhere, you see people, teleport easily. So we'll check the whole... I don't even know where this Firestorm sandbox is kind of... 
located in Second Life, but hmm. I'm waiting for anything to rest, to be honest. Okay, let's wait it out because sometimes it's really laggy. Or do we have to go somewhere out or is this like... Oh no, okay, we're kind of getting people now. Uh, so if you zoom at something, you'll see what Ivy World, see? You, you can see different lands, right? So these are the uh, separate islands. You cannot, uh, you cannot walk to them, it's just this island. So you have different stuff in Second Life. You have islands, which look like this, like a boxes, right? This is a sim. This is called a sim. Uh, it's one sim, when you go there, you cannot pass to the other sim. And that's different with continents in Second Life. If they decide to res, it would be awesome to find them, right? It's usually slow resing, so um, we can wait that one out. I will just close it down and probably it will res at the end. But yeah, here you have the learning curve. Let's see what else do they teach us. Um, appearance basics. Oh, okay. Mix and match avatar looks. And we'll go through that right now because it's probably easier to... Um, listen to someone then you know just watch a tutorial well you're watching a tutorial too and here you can go see games and recreation so the same thing they have in second life but they don't tell you here at least you know explore and you go through these doors and you're going to be teleported to some o other place but um let's see what else oh they also have a beach down here that's cool Okay, they really did good with this tutorial thing. Free scuba gear. Okay, we can go scuba. Should we go scuba diving? Okay, they do really a lot. Is there somebody sitting now? Okay. You can go also with the bubble, see? So you just jump in the bubble. You have so many different stuff to do in Second Life, so... There we go. We're just bubble riding around. I think I need to fly it, right? Yeah, okay. I need to fly the bubble. So when you don't want uh, to participate in stuff anymore that you sit on, just click stand here on the side. There we go. Easily. Okay. So now let's check for clothes, guys. Uh, the, my first recommendation is don't go doing your avatar in the first week or so. Just watch a lot of tutorials how to do your avatar. Um, you have your inventory down here, right? Uh, you also have the appearance on this side. So this is the appearance. You can see all the stuff that you're wearing. So if you want to put something off, right? You can always just detach, right? So if I don't want my chihuahua in the back, I can detach it, right? But, you know. Uh, if you ever want to get it back, you have outfits and here's the Betsy and you can wear it back, right? If you fuck anything up it's in your outfits and you can wear it back right so i want my head back it's back right i want i said add ever see what happened because i didn't because i clicked where my other hair disappeared right so always add in this case it was good because i don't have to detach the hair but sometimes it's not right so you see you go back to whatever you had so if you ever screw anything out go to outfits you have the first um avatar that you started always here so just wear everything you detached but because we are don't care right now right we're gonna detach and also i think we need to detach our tablet because we don't want to have our tablet lashes i don't care about red pencil dress we will detach don't worry i'll be not naked because i have my alpha on so alphas are the stuff that hides your system body so this is your system body uh if you're gonna go into mesh it means you're gonna have to because you see that the system fingers are not they're, they're just stiff like that right they're not moving the fingers so now there is mesh so it means you're gonna have to cover your system body and put mesh over it so mesh is like uh created bodies by users right heads by users because this now right now we are in system so this can never be taken down it's just is how it is it mesh just means you're gonna put on a mesh body and mesh head over this system body right but we're not gonna go too much into it because this is not an appearance tutorial but you know anyway so we did get abby pantsuit right so we can wear this we just add Let's see, are we medium? What are we? I don't know. Brown leather detached. So see? Now we have this because we want to cover more that we covered in um, 
you know, we can take the dress alpha down, right? And we can put the alpha of Abby alpha on, right? Oh, she's still trying to talk. Um, and that's it, kind of that's it. Uh, if you want a f full pony avatar, you can also just <coughs> replace current outfit. Can we go into brony? <coughs> there we go. <laughs> and we're a brony. Whenever the brony rises, of course, there we go. Yay. So yeah, it's easy to wear a full avatar when you get it, right? Hello, I'm Michael from Sweden. What's hap? Why is everybody writing to me? Oh. Um. Are are you okay to be in SL at fifteen? Isn't like eighteen the minimum? I don't know what. <laughs> Hello, I'm Michael from Sweden. Hey. Okay, apparently a, a lot of people already write you here. So yeah, I'm a bro. I don't know what happened. Ah, okay. I just have to click on my legs to see them. I guess it's like kind of weird and shit. Okay, let's see. Yo, brony. Okay, there. I'm arrested. If Sometimes it's l just like a little glitchy. So if you want to go back to, if you did some stupid shit like this and you want to go back to your avatar, you have Betsy and wear replace current outfit. So we're going to go back to Betsy. There we go. Easily. If you ever fuck it up, just go back to Betsy and you're back where you started, right? But if you ever want to save something that you already did, right? Because we had Betsy like already dressed in something else, right? Uh, we're not gonna go today into mesh and stuff because it's a little too much for right now. So we're gonna go to this. Like we had that, uh, Betsy dressed in something else than her normal outfit, right? Detach the... Uh, what will I detach? Not the dress, right? We have the alpha on. We can take the dress alpha off, right? Um, there we go. Betsy is dressed. Betsy has a new hair, let's say. I would go, you know, go slowly on how to work with um, stuff, right? There. So we have Betsy change, and I think this is okay for the first tutorial, right? Because we can go more into appearance and stuff later, but for now... Oh, damn, people, they're just writing me like crazy. And people say you cannot make friends in Second Life. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah... Uh, we have uh, her dressed and we're good. So what to do now, guys? You're here. Um, you know what? I want to check where they sent you here, right? On this tutorial, they need to send you somewhere, right? So let's go up. So you do have some art, uh, role play. Depends on... We're going to see what we want to do. And LGBT friendly games and recreation so what we want to do adult no we're not gonna go to adult right away freebies and shopping i think they're gonna send you to free dove i hope um newcomer friendly let's see where they s take us for newcomer friendly let's go here there so if you didn't set home to here it will be hard for you to find back uh, except if you click here and just go back. Go back to previous location, right? Newcomer friendly. So you have... Okay, you can bowl in Second Life, guys, too. But see what I mean? They send you to this all these uh, empty places, right? Um, if you don't know where you are, you can always just check a mini-map, right? It's here. So you know what I mean? It's the same problem. With sec they send you to empty places, right? There's nobody on this sims. Even there's no green dot. So what I would suggest when you start Second Life, right, and you want to go into not empty places right away, go to destinations. So here on the side you have destinations, really easy, there we go. You have what's hot now, featured events, uh, editor's picks. Usually where the most people are, are, it's what's hot now, right? You have 24 people here, uh, you see. Skill gaming, it's a lot of people, I guess. Gabriel, it's a store, you know. Mate sandbox, uh, p p be careful of that because mage... You can go there and see what kind of weirdos are 
right now there because mage can be a lot of trolls there too so watch out for mage sandbox i guess it's like what you learn from <laughs> time to time but i don't have no problem going there because i'm new so i don't care so we can maybe jump to mage sandbox but usually there's london C i think london city should be let's see win now uh featured events it's a lot of winter stuff right now christmas events um but those are uh events winter holiday village that's cute probably christmas in santa okay it's winter now of course everything editor speaks are really interesting uh, a lot of times so you have winter uh, wonderland where your journey begins Lu uh, luanes world it's winter wonderland this is a cute sim you can do a lot of stuff there you can go skiing you can uh, snowboard i think you can meet people i guess there you also have a uh, chat hotspot. It's usually where p there should be London City in the first yeah first place. So if you want to meet friends, London City is a good place to go. Social Island is now full apparently because this Social Island is the first place you land in um, when you start Second Life. So we can go check that too, right? Because if you're gonna go not on Firestorm <coughs> Viewer, but you go on uh, SL One, you will land here, right? Last time I ca came here it was empty, so now we have a lot of people here, but we can do also this tutorial, why not, because when you land all this you're gonna jump, you're gonna, um, you know, learn how, ooh, there's a lot of people here today. So there we go, you can look interesting like this in Second Life, you can be on a leash if you like, I mean there's so much shit to do how you can make your avatar, just know it is possible, but of course you need time to learn. Check the tutorials on YouTube guys on how to make your appearance. That's my first suggestion if you want to go into appearance editing. Don't end like this Kevin I guess. Or Ken or whatever. Damn. I know he's new but yeah this is mesh guys. So that's how you can look after. Well not beefcakes. Um, let me see. There's a girl I think she's. See? This is mesh now over uh, over the bodies. They look cute. Grips my... Okay. Baby girls. There are so many people here today. Nobody's talking, but hey, they are here. Look at this. So these are then mesh hats, mesh bodies. But uh, I'm not gonna go into this because today is not the appearance learning, but how to start. So yeah, if you by any chance made a second life tutorial, you, you will land on this island. It's the same stuff. Okay, there's a lot of people on that. You have something also appearing on your freaking by angel. So this is the social island, right? From uh, Second Life tutorial, we can also go down. That's what I meant. It's so much easier on Firestorm because it's not such a vet vast place and people here get lost quickly, right? So last time I was just, okay, but here are not no newbies. I don't see no newbies, just people hanging here. Oh, there's a noob. Let's ask him what he thinks. Hello. Need. We'll just start with hello and see how he feels. Um, about start of second life, I guess. There's a, uh, already a mashed out avatar here. There we go. Oh, I hate this stuff. It's always uh, appearing on your look this i always detach and it always comes back here it's like you know protection but they have like different learning i just wish it was like smaller it's so big you get lost here right where to get lindens bind them earn them win them okay um what is this fastest time i don't know what even this is some kind of a game here you have a shopping area and tutorial Okay, you see what I mean? It's like so big you get lost where everything is. I wish there was smaller building tutorial. Oh, they're trying. If you want to learn, you can go all around here and learn yourself, I guess. Or just watch tutorials like I do and that's it. So here is the teleport area also. It's the same shit. Like you will be teleported somewhere where <laughs> probably there will be no people. So I would just suggest go teleport by yourself. When you enter second life or use the destination guide the destination guide is really 
Okay, he's not answering. Okay, maybe he got lost and okay. Anyway, so yeah, use the destination guide on where to go to Second Life, where to start meeting friends. I would start with. Uh, you can also go to a club, music, right? It's like just go around, start doing stuff, right? Start meeting people. You can go to a beach. Um, of course, it's important to do your avatar first, right? Because um, sometimes people are really not talking to noobs. It's weird. I, I do talk to them from time to time, especially if they need help, right? True. Um, you can be at 15, I guess. It's not my job. How is life today? It's good. See, maybe if you already n meet somebody who's new, maybe start connecting with them, right? Oh, he doesn't. Uh, what? Nate Dog. Okay. Doesn't answer me. But yeah, I would just get the feel of Second Life first before you start, you know, doing your avatar. Just maybe meet some people. Are you from an interesting country? What's interesting country? Is that interesting enough? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you answer to these weird questions? <coughs> okay, so um, don't go to adults right away. Of course go, because it's funny as hell sometimes, right? Boys Town, Kiori, Old Lair, The Bay, The Cage Club Hangout, Skinny Dipping, it's fun for music, right? But yeah, I would suggest start with like cute sims, maybe start meeting people. Uh, newcomer friendly also have a, a place to. So London City, I would suggest London City or Social Island to meet people, right? You have Ayuda Brazil also virtual. You can also get a free avatar there. Okay, maybe I can show you that one. So yeah, just start teleporting. The destination guide is perfect to teleport around, to meet people. Because once you meet people, once you start talking to people, you'll get a lot of help about Second Life, right? Especially if somebody that's for some time already in SL, right? So this is Ayuda uh, Virtual. I think it's Brazilian, right? Yeah. Um, I think you should have a free avatar also here, if I remember correctly. Um... Let me just see. Damn it, this changed a lot. Mm, this is a lot. Let's see. Bakes on Mesh. Ah, you have eBody. It's free, guys. Here you can get eBody. That's free. I think you pay one linden for a mesh body. And it's kind of cute. The only problem you'll have, it's hard to find clothes for eBody. But not that hard. But hey, a free body, free version of the body, right? Um, I think you also, there's Alma Altamura somewhere. Let me go find it and we'll check it on. Oh god, I think I found a free baby. Ah! Oh, you can be a baby. Oh, even better. God damn it. And burning avatar. Shit, I have to make a video uh, to go through all this free stuff here. The invisible avatar. Okay, minion. Oh god. Cats. Okay, guys, there's some... <laughs> Why is this man dancing here? Okay, that There's some weird shit going on. <laughs> Okay, I might think this Ayuda Virtual is not as the same as Ayuda Brazil, so we're gonna check Ayuda Brazil because I know you can get a full avatar there already for the start uh, from Altamura, of course. But um, also one thing I wanted to say you can do in Second Life is also play board games. So you have, you know, this is called Sorry, I think, in Second Life. Easy Cheesy also, okay. It has different names. Uh, you have different... Uh, you have my young games you can play by yourself if you want i mean there are so many board games you can play here it's fun for uh, uh i think this is sunken ships yep sink battleships uh, i mean there's so much stuff you can do you can also play uh, this is really fun if, if you play it with your friends you can draw on boards um maybe it's sometimes chess you, c you have different games skippy i don't know just you know, learn some of those. There are islands where you can go play this if you like board games. I mean, there's so much stuff to do. I, I don't even know where to start, right? But first think of what you want to do or meet some friends that will tell you what to do because there is horse riding. You can breed animals. You can breed horses. You can breed cats. You can have millions of cats and, you know, sell them. It's called, those are kitty cats. Uh, you can go to clubs and dance. 
you can go riding, right? There's like motor clubs, there are like car racers. Um, you know, there's so much stuff you can do in Second Life. The world is so vast. As I said, you can go sailing, right? You can go uh, exploring the mainland, right? Which is usually so much fun. <coughs> you can go to all the weird sex sims <laughs> around Second Life. I don't know what else to tell you because there are really some weird ones, right? And you can explore them. Um, you know, there's so much weird shit going on in Second Life. I'll just go a little closer because apparently the map doesn't res map doesn't res for me at all but yeah all where you see like little dots like this right this is adam's store okay um you see if they're departed like this means they're separated that somebody is living here somebody just because that's a store um so yeah you can always teleport anywhere to be honest if you see something right like uh, i don't know these are like lands if you go closer. I wish this will rest for me today, but apparently. See, there are only... Never go on two dots. It's usually weird, but you never know. You can try it, though. But when you see two people, you can always teleport there. Just teleport and, you know. No, never... Uh, they're probably in... Oh, they're mermaids. Okay, fine. We found a land, I guess. There are, they are. There we go. See? What's happening here? I wish nothing weird. Sometimes people there. Oh, it it's mermaids. There we go. Oh, they're dancing so cute. And bobs were out, but yeah. Oh yeah, it's a mermaid. Of course, her bobs are out there. See, we see two dots. They're practically just dancing, so that's fine. That's cool. You can be a mermaid there. You can be a brony. You can be a furry. You can be whatever you wanna be, right? It's so much. See, there are whole underworlds in Second Life. You can be a mermaid if you like to be a mermaid. Um, I don't know what else to tell you. It's just to explore Second Life. I would not go into making my appearance on the first day, right? So just get the feel of it. Get the feel, whatever. Chat hotspots, maybe we visit also. There's Portal Park. They have all kinds of stuff. Inspire Space Park. It's so freaking old, but it's set in the space, right? Um, I would just go through these destinations a little. Meet some people, maybe. Um, you know, ask them for help. Don't don't be shy to ask for help if you want to know something. People are usually usually helpful right uh don't get sad if somebody doesn't answer you like that guy didn't maybe they're afk maybe they just don't want to talk you know it's like people are different so don't get discouraged by one person not answering you right uh you can go to beaches there's also fun way to you know meet people i guess uh kona beach and surf you can go surfing in second life looks there's so much stuff cannibal island i know they have a game that uh, you go flying around in your airplanes and shoot uh, yourself down with your friends i mean there's so many sims to explore and so many stuff so much stuff to do right so let's check the map again and see where else can we just randomly teleport i guess so guys here we will talk about mainlands apparently if you don't go closer i'm not rising so maybe the same will happen to you um but if you go close you'll see how many people are you know, all the green dots are people, right? Um, you can see them around. Uh, the problem is Second Life is so vast, it's hard to even... You know, a lot of places are empty. Like, you see here, like, three sims are totally empty, right? Like, but there seems that there are people, and this is mainland, right? I don't know which continent it is. We're, we're, we're going through continents, right? But uh, I will just explain what you see on the map sometimes. So this are the places that are selling so if you're a premium and you want a place there are places that are selling for don't go with uh, stupid prices like this because apparently somebody is selling this place for 49,000 lindens it says for this is too much right but you have also like small spaces like this uh 5000 lindens 1024 square meters so 1024 is what you get with your premium i will usually go with abandoned land and then just ask linden lab to sell you the abandoned land but this is the place you can rent look 30 000, are, are they crazy i wonder what they're selling it's probably because it's by the sea right so sometimes when you are by the sea people are putting on stupid prices like 15000 lindens look at this uh prices it's like 
a little much but look here is 1024 for 4000 lindens that's not bad so if you ever want to go buy land you can also just check it like this right um and just teleport there and let's see what they're selling right because you know you need a home in second life sometimes okay i landed so yeah okay this is it i guess they already put the house on i guess so let me see if we could buy it if we want it no so i need to buy it under it i guess let's see where we landed so this is the land under it right buy this land see so we could buy this land if we wanted for four thousand lindens there has been an error while fetching land buying information to buy this land you must be a premium resident of course but hey it would be four thousand lindens if we wanted land of course okay there we go it's a cute land though we're, we're right by the sea okay the view is a little crappy with these neighbors but hey so yeah of course there's also land buy land selling in second life uh, i went into that in my video all about second life land if you want to know more <coughs> about land sale selling but yeah that's how you go around just i don't know use the destination guide it's like really easy there's so much stuff to do i don't think you can get bored in second life especially when you start hanging with people right when you start meeting new people talking to them especially then if you go on voice and you're just having fun through voice in second life right it's really easy so uh another thing we said we we're gonna try to find ayuda this is ayuda virtual i don't know if the uh, Ayuda Brazil is let I'll try to find it because I know they have an avatar there for free so let's go check also guys before you start going around um, you have also you go to general and just you know check it that is general modern adult uh, moderate adult right if you're gonna want to go to adult places so you go to your preferences right and just let's do this preferences and just here you go to uh, general and just click this and save right so you can check also the adult places right ayuda brazil there we go ayuda sl brazil okay let's go there we said we we're gonna go to ayuda brazil i think it was adult let's see if it's adult no it's general okay so that was not a problem I wasn't here for a long long time but yeah there's also a lot of yeah but this this is what I remember yeah because there in this place I think you have the free avatars so yeah uh, sometimes the help islands can be helpful for starting stuff right uh, let's go in so here at Ayuda Brazil you have the full Al Altamura bin to full body gift Valentina right it's uh, check it on uh, YouTube also I, I think I did a tutorial on this too and I think some other people did but if you want a starter full body like a head and a body mesh right this is like a good option to go to and it's always here it's not like you know the lelutka there was a lelutka sale there was different sales but they're just sales from some time and this is always here so there's no problem that you couldn't get it the only problem is you need one linden to get it right i think you can also touch it i think so let's check if we do uh, no i can't do it like this i wanted to just touch it now what if we press gift We'll have to buy it, I guess, unfortunately. Um, deliver. Oh, no. No, we did get it. Okay, guys, a cool trick. If you don't want to pay one linden, that's a, an option, right? You can always go to left-click touch, right? And you go to deliver. So you, you don't have to pay one linden. There we go. Because if you go to pay, it's one linden to get the gift. You get one linden back. But if you don't have one linden, there's a problem, right? So I'll just put this body on so you can see how you can look right away, I guess. Grab some stuff here on the walls because I think they have some stuff like hair or something. And we'll see what we can do. Really fast though. <laughs> oh look, he finally re replied the Nate dog. Okay. Anyway, um, uh, guys, you can get a lot of stuff here though in Ayuda Brazil. I'll leave the link under my video. But you can get hair here. Look at this. Um, also, some clothes, um, hair. You can just check. There are different stores here that are giving stuff for free. Um, 
it's not that bad because I saw Coco there too. Okay, Coco is like a good store, so just go check a little on the walls what they're gifting away, right? Um, it's not that bad. The clothes are not even that bad. Look at this dress. It's like basic dress, but it's not totally newbish like uh, Freebie Galaxy or something, right? I think I saw also Coco there on the wall, so it's here. Look. So you get some cute pants, look at this, or top, so this is a cute pants, uh, crop tank top, I mean, come on. Also, look at this. Nice, right? Okay, so yeah, just check Ayuda Brazil, pick everything that you want to pick. I did pick some hair, I did, did pick that stuff, and we're... Uh, I saw that I cannot change the, um, so I think the, um... HUDs are not working here, so it's best to go to sandboxes, right? Sandboxes are the places where you can rest. So guys, if you ever want to search for something, go content search, right? Content search here, and you have, uh, let's write sandbox. Sandboxes are places where you can rest. As I said, let's just find some cool ones, I guess. What else? Oh, come on. It's not that hard. What you doing? If there, map search sandbox. Um, just choose one. There are so many. Um, I don't know. Let's let's go to. Uh, don't go to naughty ones. I guess. Res me sandbox. Usually it says how much time you have till they return your stuff, but you sometimes you have uh, no auto return whole sim sandbox. Prims are only returned when you've been gone a while. Okay. Just choose a sandbox you want to go to. There's so many sandboxes around Second Life. That means you can go anywhere and res on the floor, right? Or fuck this sandbox is. I don't like this sandbox. It's too much. Uh, I did see a picture, so to be honest. Okay, let's find a new one. Okay, guys. I know I said never go to uh, made sandbox, but we are still here. I I heard a lot of people talking, so I'm just gonna walk over they not to them exactly but you know the sandbox oh damn see all this shit oh there they are i i cannot turn the voices on because somebody's uh having music there so you know whatever we're gonna survive oh they're already here hey okay anyway so we did animation overrider we got free at ayuda brazil so if you turn it off on right so it vista animation super su super sexy ao so ao is an um, animation overrider uh, and you will need it to not stand like this right not stand like a noob so if we turn it on uh animation overrider means that your stance will be better um your uh walk will be different right um so see super sexy well, this is maybe not the one that we want to go to. You have also still AOs, but your walk is different. See, you're walking not like a noob anymore. You have a different walk, but there are different animations over either. This one is free, of course. You have also payable ones, so don't get discouraged. Anyway, uh, so we did say um, we learned about animation overriders. Um, there we go. See, this one is more free. You can get a better one on mon marketplace also. Uh, they're also free, right? So this one is just super sexy. I don't know what that exactly means, but you know, we do, did get the Fabia hair and let's try the freaking, um, where did our object? So, aha. Uh -huh, okay. And then we have our Altamura body. Now the fun part is we're in the sandbox. So that means we can rest the bo box on the floor and open it, right? So we can open the whole Valentina bin to full body free and copy it to in inventory. But if not, right, you can also just add to yourself. I'm going to show you. And it opens like a hut and you can click on it and get it. Sometimes you'll get a box in your hand, but that's a totally another. So you can go also in the box, edit it if you have it on your hand and just drag the content out in your inventory, right? So you have different styles of opening boxes up, but hey. Okay, let's try to make this Valentina body on. So what you have to do, this is now a mesh body, right? You just use the shape and the eyebrows they give you, add it to yourself. You hide the whole uh, head body 
an eye sting you just use an alpha for that so your body will be now hidden we still have that stupid betsy lashes on of course so i can take all the other alpha now down right take off and also where's the betsy lashes we see the lashes up there so they disappear so now your system body is transparent because you're using an alpha and you can put on the freaking mesh body this one is a full body right so we're just gonna put oh you have ao hot post hot blah 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 valentina free hot okay let's put the hot on and let's put the full bento body you already got the shape from them so all we need to do is just put the body on there we go i'll just hide because probably my boobs will be out of course there we go because there you have the HUD, the alpha HUD, and you can now hide your boobs if they're glitching through the, you know, through the body, right? Because the, the sizing is not for us, but hey, we're going to just hide the boobs and we're good. There we go. There. See, we hidden everything, so we have the mesh body on. This is the body that it comes with. Again, you need eyes, right? Um, okay, let's just hide this whole HUD now for now we have nothing else there um the eyes i don't know does it come with the eyes facial or bento gestures physics i think you'll have to use the head body alpha just and let's keep the eyes from whatever take off there it's a little uh, well, it's not that complicated how you do it, but let's see if this will help, of course. There, and we have our eyes. So we just, we kept the system eyes because I don't think you get eyes here. AO facial, AO HUD. Doesn't look you get Valentina face animation pack. Okay, whatever. So yeah, here it is. It's a different avatar already. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. Anyway, uh, this is like really basic on how to use mesh. Um, how to cover your system body right uh, we just covered now the head and body because we didn't get the mesh eyes with this but if you use mesh eyes just use this alpha that also covers the eyes right so you kind of get the basics on how to do it um if you have a hud like i did uh, like this valentina free hud that you get with it right you can also cover the parts that are glitching out, right? So this is the alpha HUD. You can see whatever you can cover. So let's see. I'm covering now the... We can also cover how our uh, arm is going out. So let's just cover that part. See? You have also the dots to cover everything together. Like the middle part here and the purple <coughs> here. There we go. I just have to jump in there. There we go. A little more... There, I'm al already, ah, I have to click the yellow to cover, I think. Yep, there we go. And we're not glitching. So, guys, when you have the, uh, the freaking, um, okay, I need to cover the arms also, like here and here. Just click on the dots and you'll co cover the whole arm, right? Also, the blue one, we're covered anyway, so it doesn't matter. There we go. Uh, so, you see also the leg is glitching. You, you can also cover the leg. There we go the full one it's a cool uh, alpha though for the body it's really easy there we go um should be uh -huh, and back there should cover uh, all the whole leg because everything is hidden right so there we go so this is not the sizing for us again the shoes are a problem so just you know maybe cover the feet for now we'll go into detail more later but yeah kind of Oh, that's how the shoes are. Okay, whatever. We'll go into fit some other day or just watch a tutorial on this one. Okay, so yeah, this is the mesh avatar now, guys. Uh, really easy. Um, not gonna go into mesh heads, mesh everything, because that's a totally different tutorial. But just so you know, it's possible to do your avatar pretty fast, right? Um, okay, so that's everything about how to start with Second Life. These are the basics, right? Just explore what you have down here. Uh, you have different stuff. You can see if somebody's talking. For now, they're all quiet, I think. What kind of weird people here? What's happening? Okay, I'm not even gonna go why all that is moving. But for now, I think they're all quiet. Um, this is walking. This is how to position your camera also. But you can do that with your mouse. This is how many people are on the scene. You can see them all. Uh, 
quick thing you can zoom in on them right so there they are all of them being obnoxious oh yeah of course oh god so yeah this is like where we are let's go check what major rules this is a privately owned sandbox open to the public rules are short no yiffing okay i don't know what this bitch is doing but okay we're not gonna go into that it's too much let me see if they're still okay yeah. they're still talking about something but whatever or is a raid i have no idea how they're doing it i'm not gonna go into that um so yeah here you have what you're wearing as i said it's really easy you can make outfits so if i like this now i can save as right and we save it uh boo now let's say i don't know how what my name is but okay let's we saved it right and now if you want to go back to betsy you just wear replace the current outfit i'm sorry i'm gonna cover if we're naked or something see we're back to betsy avatar um let's just rest back there we go and if you want what we whatever we did right we wear replace the current outfit and we go back to whatever we had on there slowly getting there we're still naked there we go see everything working perfect so you have the outfits you have what you're wearing here you can detach different parts so if you don't like the shoes anymore um, Betsy heels detach and we find some other shoes I guess eventually so yeah um, you have to you have the search bar here so you have the web search there also you can find the Yuda Brazil one you have general moderate and adult you can search for people you can search groups you can search for places so I search for sandbox here and I just saw made sandbox and I was like, okay you can search for land sales who's selling what price what air size of the area you can search for events and class fields but I would just go you know the I usually use search for places and people and groups web search i use so that's mostly what i do here then you have the map as i said you see how many people are in this made sandbox there we go this you cannot travel anywhere else from here it's just the sim right as i explained um okay th this is the mini map right you can see the made sandbox uh, you can like go to some you see people here we can camp there if you click on there and you can see who there is right there you have two people here trying on stuff i guess there we go you can always zoom at people right you don't have to teleport to them so if you see somebody on the map who's like oh there's somebody you can right click and just zoom right um wait sorry uh cam you can camp to them sorry there we go you can also teleport to them and stuff like that so it's really easy there we go okay so that's it ao you can do build your own animation overrider here you can put um, like you can put um, uh, animation inside but that's a different story from different times and also there's a quick preferences you have your draw distance this means how far you see in second life so if i go to 32 i don't see and it it's rising really easier right but if i go too far right you can see everything and it's a little more laggy but usually keep it at i don't know 132 maybe or something like that or whatever there there right if you want to see the further right you see but then it's gonna fuck up with your rest time sometimes okay i don't know what these bitches are doing but uh, it's better for pictures if you see far away if you're doing something else okay so then you have um max avatars how many tags i will not go on name tags you can have on and see what the names of people are also down there you see now you can see the names of people there we go but if you don't want that just put them off and you won't see anything you usually see second life like this old sassy pants oh that sounds like a fun thing to do let's see and a frog yeah as i said more trolls here than anything else there um my beats is dangly okay you see but hey don't be scared of trolls fun people sometimes um especially this mate sometimes they're fun sometimes they're not who knows uh 
max complexity means how complex you see if you see avatars like jelly dolls it means your complexity is not far enough means they are more complex than 55,000 so if you go more up right you will see them there you go uh, and then you can change the wind lights of course so if it, this is not too if this is too bright or not you can change wind lights you have different wind lights in second life there you go I can just choose whatever I can go through all the wind lights there we go see we can have it foggy but yeah this is more than into photography and stuff so you know you can just learn about this some other day okay guys so this is the basics of second life or what to do when you start you can go into your avatar customization or just start meeting friends and maybe they probably they will help you with some stuff but yeah never get bored here though guys because it's so much stuff to do so much things to explore so yeah go around uh make something uh you know uh, start building start decorating start i don't know just you know just do different stuff you don't have to pay for second life if you don't want to uh, i went my whole first year of second life for free and then i when i came back after six years into second life I think I didn't use no money for half a year, right? I was just going with free stuff. So, yeah, you know, I would say go slow. I mean, it's a lot to learn. It's a lot to do. It's a lot to, you know, see in this world. So don't go for everything right away. Who's that now? Ah, okay. It's that. F ah, okay. That guy. Good. Thanks. You. Fine. Nate Dog. They dog want to talk. So, you know, you can meet people and that's kind of it. Okay, guys. Love you all. Yeah, older than you. Okay, guys. Uh, love you all and see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>